Taylor Glacier hosts an active in glacial hydrologic system that feeds blood falls, a supraglacial outflow of iron-rich subglacial brine at the terminus, despite mean annual air temperatures of minus 17 degrees Celsius and limited surface melt. This is due to the presence of a subhorizontal zone of inglacial brine upstream from blood falls and elongated in the ice flow direction. This zone has a high concentration of brine, estimated to be in excess of 13%, which decreases as it moves away from the central axis of the zone. This suggests that the brine is being injected into the ice by a network of subparallel basal crevasses. The brine then flows towards blood falls via hydraulic potential gradients associated with deeply incised supraglacial valleys. The brine remains liquid within the subglacial and inglacial environments due to the latent heat of freezing combined with the high salt content. These findings suggest that cold glacier can support freshwater hydrologic systems even when subjected to low temperatures. This article was authored by Jessica Abadgley, Erin C. Pettit, Christina G. Carr, and others.